KRC Research, in partnership with Weber Shanwick and Powell Tate, conducted a survey in um, April of 1,000 adults online uh, to understand better how the American public feels about civility, not only in government, but in everyday life as well. And we had a sense that within Washington, there's been an increase in uncivil behavior uh, and more very public uh, acts of mean-spiritedness. And we were curious as to whether others around the country felt that or felt it was perhaps just business as usual. Well, we were able to measure people's perception of civil society. And, uh, and most people, two-thirds of the American public, felt that as a society we become less civil in recent times. Uh, and many of them felt it was the responsibility of all Americans um, to do something about that and felt that, in fact, uh, there are a lot of consequences to an uncivil society, including feeling like they want to tune out from politics, uh, that they've tired of the bickering, uh, and, uh, and that they have some power to do something about it and, and plan to take some kind of action. Well, we looked at 18 different aspects of American life, uh, ranging from politics and government to the media, businesses, and down to people's community organizations uh, and community life. And what we found was that the places where people see the, the most civility are in those community organizations where they're surrounded by people that they know. And those are the places of worship. Uh, their network of friends, and even their social media sites where they connect with people that they are familiar with and, and where there's respectful uh, discourse. Where there was the least amount of civility uh, was in government, uh, on the roads where they, where they drive to work and see people cutting in and act rudely, uh, and even in businesses um, where they see some bad actors uh, and uh, are concerned that perhaps the, the civility has taken a, a turn down. Uh, but also in media, and they see it in different forms of media, some more than others. Blogs are particularly uh, concerning to them that there's a lot of discord and mean-spiritedness. I think the implications for the political process um, really get down to how people are going to act uh, on their concerns about civility. And will their concerns about the, the, um, the type of civil debate that we have and how people act, um, whether they're mean-spirited or whether they respect those who have differing points of view, um, it'll be interesting to see if they are concerned enough to actually vote some of these people out of office. Um, uh, in the elections. They say that they believe it's their responsibility. People express a sense of empowerment and realize they can take an action and make a change. Well, Americans believe it's their responsibility, um, first and foremost. In fact, they rate the American public as having the greatest responsibility for changing it, and I think they may see that in many different ways, but certainly one of the ways is what they listen to when they, um, when they turn on the TV or when they turn on the radio. Um, it is who they vote for when they get into, um, when, they, when, they, um, uh, when they vote. And, it is, and it's even what blogs they pay attention to and, and how they work with each other in everyday life. Um, some say that they will boycott or do boycott products um, of companies that they feel are bad players. Um, we don't see organized boycotts as having any real effect, but what we know less of is how people make their personal decisions when they're at the grocery store or when they're in the shop and, and what they do based on their feelings or concerns about a particular company.